Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rice and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about DEXA scans. A DEXA scan is super important and helps diagnose osteoporosis. If you haven't watched the first part of this series of osteoporosis, I definitely encourage you to do so, and I will link that video here at the end, as well as in the description below. A DEXA scan is a special type of x-ray that takes pictures of your lumbar spine as well as your hips in order to determine your overall bone density or how thick or thin your bones are. Again, this is a screening tool used by clinicians all around the world in order to assess whether or not you may or may not have osteoporosis. So once you get the scan and after it's completed, you'll go back to the doctor's office where they'll report and go over some numbers with you. The number that they definitely will be talking to you about is your overall T-score, and they may mention something called a Z-score. A T-score is how much your bone mass differs from the bone mass of an average healthy 30 year old adult. A Z score compares your bone density to the average bone density of people your own age and gender. Both of these scores are represented as averages. And if any of you remember from way back of the horrors of high school math, anything that's given as an average is distributed over a bell shaped curve. The numbers of the T and the Z scores represent standard deviations. If you're completely lost, pay no attention to the last 20 seconds of everything I just just said because I'm going to give you the ranges and exactly what they mean. If your T-score is above negative one, your bone density is considered normal. If it's between negative one and negative 2.5, you have something called osteopenia, which can kind of be considered and thought of like pre-osteoporosis. If you have any T-score less than negative 2.5, you have osteoporosis. This number will be reported to you by your doctor, and he or she will go over that with you again in the office. So now that we know a little bit about DEXA scans, when should you be concerned about actually getting one? Currently, it's recommended that a one-time screening exam be given for any female greater than or equal to the age of 65 or any postmenopausal woman less than 65 with risk factors or any male with risk factors for fractures. If you're a postmenopausal female and have never received a DEXA scan before, I think it would be a good idea to ask your doctor about this. Stay tuned for the next video in this three-part series where we will be discussing some treatment options that are available if you do have osteoporosis.